Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Atlanta Falcons coming up next. First open in 2017. Here's a look inside the one-of-a-kind setting for football. That is Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, the home of the Falcons. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson, or should I say Dean Olson, because tight end you doesn't happen without you. And uh, we've got a great matchup here. We've got two of the best at your position in the current game right now. And Mike, when I came into the league, I mean, almost 20 years ago, there was a handful of really elite tight ends. But doesn't it just seem, especially over these last couple of years, every single team, at least the ones that make their mark and find themselves in the playoffs, compete for Super Bowls, have a legitimate number one threat at the tight end position. It almost feels like if you don't have a tight end, your offense is missing a key piece. I know I'm biased, but at tight end you, man, we, we make no mistake about it. We think we are the most important position in football, and you're not going to convince me otherwise. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Chiefs come out with the face of the NFL, Patrick Mahomes. Two-time regular season MVP, three-time Super Bowl MVP, just in his eighth year, best in the business at the helm for KC, Greg. Mike, we could do an entire broadcast of what makes his game so special and so unique. Not only the wins, the losses, the arm talent, the fun throws, but it's his level of competitive nature. It's his ability that his team is never out. It doesn't matter what's going on at the offensive line, what's going on on the defensive side of the ball. You know that as long as he's lined up under center, as long... Oh, and they come after him right away, and Gethany goes on the first play of the game. Mike, you said it. You mentioned just how loud it was, the energy in this building leading up to the opening kickoff. And with a sack like that on the first play of the game, this crowd's only going to get louder. And, man, we can feel it all the way up here in the booth. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Here's the third-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes going to throw here on third down. He'll get this one complete to Brown. A gain of 17 yards. First down, KC. It's a really important conversion right there, Mike, because you just don't want to go three and out on the road, especially on your opening possession of the game. You want to let your offense get some rhythm, establish and unfold some of the game plan you've set up coming in. They're going to have a fresh set of downs here and now say, okay, can we turn this good start of a drive and finish the drive with some points? Now Mahomes gives it to Pacheco. And he'll get this across midfield as he's brought down following a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. Just take what the defense is giving you, and you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. A handoff to Pacheco. Second and seven. A 
off the play fake. Here's Mahomes. Got a man. That's Rasheed Rice. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. They put Kelsey in motion. On first down, it's Mahomes. Got his man at the six. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Now, this is how you dream up the opening script. You get the ball first, and you want to go down and set the tone for the rest of the game. Well, it looks like the coaches did a great job when they built that script during the week. But that big-time throw, they got a shot now with first and goal to end this opening drive with a touchdown. Mahomes from out of the pistol. He'll throw. That one taken in. Juju Smith-Schuster. Touchdown, Kansas City. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Harrison Butker now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Chiefs will take a 7-0 lead. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. Ray Ray McLeod on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Falcons led out by their quarterback, Kirk Cousins. One of the big moves in the offseason. Atlanta acquiring Cousins in free agency. He had six years in Washington, the last six in Minnesota, and now he begins his run this season with the Falcons. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football, and while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. Here's a second and nine. Another run here for Robinson. And he'll get this very close to a first down. A nice run there. It'll just end up a little bit short. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. And this is going to work out. He's got it. The first down at the 38-yard line. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. 
On first and ten, Cousins. Complete former first-round pick Drake London with the catch. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest gain. They'll come up here on second down and five. Here's Cousins throwing from the pistol. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Drake London was the intended receiver there. And it's going to be third down. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. That's complete. He's got it to London. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. That is Mike Dana working his way in there to record the sack. Well, that's certainly one way to bounce back here defensively after giving up a huge explosive play on the previous snap to bounce back and come away with the sack. Now you find yourself in second and long. You can catch your breath, and the opportunity to get off the field has just gone up. Second down, Cousins. He's got this to B. John Robinson. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game. Everything looks the same. There's no tells. So they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook. And so far, they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? Whose kick is good. And the Falcons are on the board. It's seven to three. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. The dangerous Miko Hardman on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Chiefs offense ready to get going with their second possession. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. Working the right side. Taken in by Rice. This may look like a simple connection, Mike. Just pitch and catch. But I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. On second down, Mahomes. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. 
Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. And he will have a Chiefs first down. He's able to get about three that time on third and inches. So a big third down hookup takes us to the break. Hits the Chiefs on top. Greg and I back in Atlanta after this. They go three tight ends here on first and ten. Throwing again, it's Mahomes. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Here's a second and six. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes now to throw again. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. From the 35, it's first and 10. On the ground, here's Pacheco. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. Mahomes now to throw on second down. To the goal line and in. Juju Smith-Schuster. Touchdown, KC. His second catch of the game. And both have gone for touchdowns. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Now Butker to add the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Chiefs extend their advantage to 14 to 3. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. Avery Williams on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Falcons offense ready for their second possession. They trail now 14-3, so an 11-point deficit as they start things out with first and 10.
Cousins. There's Kyle Pitts with the grab. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Second and a yard. Off the play fake, here's Cousins. And that's going to wind up incomplete. Pressure certainly impacted the quarterback there. Couldn't get his arm all the way through. And it's going to bring up a third down. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way. Live to play another down. Pitts is the man in motion. Cousins out of the gun on third down. He's got his tight end. That's Pitts. He'll get out of bounds, a gain of eight, and that's going to be good enough for a first down. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. On first down, Cousins. You'll get this to Pitts once more. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Cousins now on second down. Short throw taken by Pitts. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Here's second and six. Pitts is the man in motion. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. second down it's a run with Robinson he plunges forward for a couple of yards drew tranquil up to make the tackle third and long here's cousins they'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and 
lived to play another snap. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Falcons cut the lead to four. It's ten to six. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. So, here comes the KC offense set to take over once more. The advantage is 8. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drive. First down and 10. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. And he'll get about five past the 30-yard line. Here now, third and five. They put Kelsey in motion. Third and short. Here's Patrick. That is hard. He gets the hook up with Rice. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Mahomes to Rice for a big play. 38 yards. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Greg and I back to Atlanta in a moment they'll come up here first and ten here's Mahomes that's caught Travis Kelsey it's a pickup of 13 yards good for a Chiefs first down not a whole lot complicated about this play Mike that was understanding where the holes of the defense were remember in this zone coverage you got to find green grass get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll work now on second and four. Right back to the air for Mahomes. To the end zone. It's intercepted. That's the safety, Jesse Bates. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown. And instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The Falcons offense, ready to get back at it. The deficit is eight, as this drive begins with first and ten. Throwing now, Cousins. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. 
they'll get 11 there. And that's a quick first down. This is such a critical moment in the game, that middle four minutes, the final two minutes of the first half, and then the possession to come out of the halftime break. So maximizing this possession here before halftime is critical. See if you can get a drive starter. See if you can get an easy completion to kickstart a two-minute mode. And that's what they got here. Now they got to see if they can go down and steal some points. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. He'll try again here, second and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. He's got his man, it's Mooney. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Couple of first downs to start this drive. They're first and 10, up at the 42. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. To the right, that's Pitts. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Cousins now. That's going to be dropped underneath for Robinson. And they'll take this down inside the 35. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. That one is caught by Mooney. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Nice grab there by Mooney. And plays like this are really the main reason why the Falcons made it a point to sign him this offseason. I mean, his talent has always been undeniable. He just has to find a way to stay on the field and prove it. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. Now, Cousins. That's the tight end. Hits. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. They'll come up now for second down and four. Cousins going to throw. He's got it at the three. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. To throw is Cousins. That is caught. And he's in. Kyle Pitts. Touchdown Atlanta. That a big score, Greg. They continue to get points, but after not getting touchdowns, this has to feel really good to this offense. It really does. And I think anytime you can build on your confidence that now you know the rest of this game, you can finish these good drives. Coming away with two field goals, those are wins for the defense. So now a win for the offensive side of the ball. And got to see now if you can keep this rolling throughout the rest of this game. Koo able to add the extra point. And the Falcons move back to within one.
still the matter of six seconds remaining in this half. And the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Here's first and ten. Throwing is Mahomes. Taking a shot for Smith-Schuster. And he's going to take this one all the way. 70 yards. Touchdown, Kansas City. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. This is turning into a monster game. Let's keep an eye on this. Three touchdown catches alone in the first half. Could be a record-setting game. And Butker on for the extra point. And the kick is good. So what a finish to this first half as they extend the lead. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. These two teams making their way back out of their locker room, so that means we're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back out to Mike and Greg. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. Likely going to play a big role in who wins this one. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Falcons offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Pitts is the man in motion. Cousins now to throw on first down. They'll look to set up the screen here. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? because they got that screenplay still in the back of their head. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game. Just one more thing for the defense to have to defend Make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone. Defend every blade of grass, and a really good running back goes a long way in doing that. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. They'll try again. It's second and ten. Cousins to throw. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Now, Cousins to the outside. Catch made by London. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, 
These types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. So that'll bring up fourth down, and here comes the veteran Bradley Pinion to punt it away. Nicole Hartman deep to return. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. Patrick Mahomes going to lead the KC offense back out for this next drive. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. First and ten. On the ground to start the drive with Pacheco. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. the give and keeps it himself nice job by the defense they had that one well read from the beginning Mike someone's responsible for the running back but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback stays with him keeps him to a short game first down away to the 26 yard line and here's third down on play action it's Mahomes that's over the middle and intercepted that's the safety, Jesse Bates. And his guys are going to be set up with a short field as they look to draw closer and perhaps draw even in this one. You know, Mike, I like the mindset of this offensive coordinator. He's saying, listen, I'm not looking to preserve this lead. I'm looking to extend my lead. Now, that aggressive play calling in this case led to the turnover. Now your defense has to take the field. Can they bail you out and keep this lead unchanged prior to their next possession. Here comes the Atlanta offense now. They get set to take over once more. They can get back into this quickly now. Very short field ahead. It is first and 10. They'll run with Robinson. He'll get about two. Nick Bolton, the linebacker, there for the stop. Look him up on a second down and eight. Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. Cousins out of the gun on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. 
He'll start at the four. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here come the Chiefs in last year's Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, for their next drive. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. Into the hands of Juju. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Well, any fear they might have had that they'd come out of the halftime break flat has completely gone out the window immediately back in the attack mode, continuing to take the fight to the defense. They're not content, Mike, here, just having the lead. They're looking to extend it. A couple more plays like that. They're going to find themselves in scoring territory here very quickly. Seemed like the receiver, Mike, ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Smith Schuster, the man in motion. Mahomes now to throw on second down. He'll get that complete to Isaiah Pacheco. Nice pick up here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Mahomes from out of the pistol. He'll throw. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. Mahomes now to throw again. He gets that to Brown. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Throwing again, it's Mahomes. Right back to Brown, he's got it again. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Second down and eight. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes looking to throw on second down. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And Frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. And he will score again. Juju Smith-Schuster. Touchdown, Chiefs. Make it four touchdowns for him on the afternoon. So that one, his fourth touchdown catch of the game. That is one behind the single game NFL record. Here's Butker now for the extra point.
He's got it. And the Chiefs will extend this third quarter lead. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. McLeod now to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Falcons offense ready to get back at it. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Over the middle, that's his tight end, Pitts. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. That's going to be incomplete, and the clock will stop. Likely one more play in this third quarter. I think he just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. So after back-to-back -back incompletions, it is now third and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. That's complete. He's got it to London. They gain 18 yards on that one. First down, Atlanta. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and... The age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's pretty impressive. Second down, Cousins. And he'll finally eat this one. He'll go down. They got him in the backfield. I can appreciate the idea of keeping the play alive, right? Giving as much time as possible to your targets to uncover downfield. But you also have to play to your strengths. You got to know the type of player that you are. In this case, doesn't have quite enough speed to get away and probably should have just thrown it away. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Throwing his Cousins. He'll swing this one out wide to his running back. Seems like wide receiver screens in the NFL are kind of a mixed bag. It almost seems like they either go for nothing 
or you get a big play. And in this case, it was the latter. Nice job by the big guys getting out front, leading the way, and the wide receiver does the rest. Trailing late. They've got to go here. It's fourth down. That is brought in at the 10. And he's going to be brought down. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Now a chance to pay off that big play. They have it first and goal. Cousins going to throw. That is caught. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but... It is brought in in the end zone. Great London. Touchdown, Falcons. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Here's Coop for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Falcons have cut the deficit to five. Things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Hardman now to return it. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes coming out for their next drive. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. They'll start on the ground with Pacheco. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Once again, it's Pacheco. It'll take this ahead for a gain of about five, and here comes third down. Motion man is Rice. Mahomes now on third and two. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense. You don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock, but the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is... We want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball. Continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. Here's Patrick. He'll throw it on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. 
It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. That's dropped off for Pacheco. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. Third and short. Here's Patrick. He'll try and get there on the ground. This is the point in the game, Mike, where on third down, you have to get off the field, and they do a great job. They defend everything in the pass routes, nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball, but they don't keep him in the pocket. They let him escape, picks up the first down with his legs. They're going to be able to run more time off the clock. On first down, it's Mahomes. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? This crowd into it now as we get to third down. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They've converted two third downs already on this drive. And here's third and four. They'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game. But... It didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. And this one right down the middle. It's good. A big three points as they extend their fourth quarter lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. After the made field goal, Bunker back on the field to send this one away. Here's Williams on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Cousins to throw. To the right. That's Pitts. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They come up for second and two. That'll be caught by the running back Robinson. A pickup of 12 yards. 
It's good for a Falcon first down. This guy's really starting to roll now. I mean, his involvement in the passing game just continues to pick up. And until the defense identifies him as a pass threat, I expect this quarterback to keep looking his way. He'll get that to Kadero Hodge. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Great job there defensively separating the man from the ball. And this is the moments in the game where you need your best players to step up. And this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment. Here's a designed run. Falcons go ahead and take their second timeout. 70 seconds left to go in this game. Here's first down. Throwing now, Cousins. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two-minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Everyone always assumes that you only want to run drag routes or crossing routes, just underneath, like, mesh concepts against man coverage. But so often they're equally as effective against the zone all it takes is one of those underneath man defenders to latch on to the wrong route and all of a sudden there is a lot of room not only for the completion but for yards after the catch remember he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football here he's got a first down I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive Mike I mean it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance and now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Here we go. First and goal. Here's Cousins. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Try to get here from the seven yard line, second down and goal. Now, Cousins. And this will be a touchdown. They are within a two point conversion of coming back to tie this game. What a finish there to get the touchdown, but of course, the job's not done. And this is where the defense needs to regroup, Mike. It's one thing to give up the touchdown, but now you're still one stop away from being the hero. They got to dial in, get their best defense called, and somehow find a way to keep them out of the end zone. Slot receiver headed right. They'll run with Robinson, and he will get in. The two-point conversion works, and we might be headed to overtime.
not much time remaining to get something started. All tied here, late fourth as the kickoff comes. Yeah! He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here is first and ten. Here's Pacheco. And that'll be a pickup of three. Here we go. One final play. And that's going to be incomplete. They took one last chance here in regulation. It does not pan out. And we are headed to overtime. Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. Hardman now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Chiefs offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They'll begin with first and 10. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Here's a toss to Pacheco. And a nice tackle in the open field limits the game to only one. Here's a third down and four. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are and get there and be friendly to the quarterback and if you're open stay open that's nfl route running that's what the best guys do here's a second and six they'll stay on the ground and stay with pacheco and he'll be marked down at the 45 yard line Look how everybody moves in sync on this play, Mike. You have the linemen hitting their pull blocks. 
The guys on the outside working one-on-one. -on -one. They clear just enough room to let him hit it. And next thing you know, picks up the first down. They'll come up here first and ten. Ben in motion is Brown. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. Off the bootleg, it's Mahomes. To the left side in the hands of Rice. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. He'll get this one complete to Brown. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now, and a first down to boot. Nice first down grab there by Hollywood Brown, and... It seems like this was a move that kind of flew under the radar a little bit. Doesn't it seem, Mike? This is a guy that when he's at his best, he is as talented as any receiver in the league, and he brings that explosive nature the Chiefs are hoping for as they search to win their third straight Lombardi Trophy. To the air once more, it's Mahomes. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Travis Kelsey, the intended target. It's second down. Gray is the motion man here. Right back to the air for Mahomes inside the 10 it is caught and he's into the end zone that'll do it they win it in ot and he continues to remain on fire that is a rare nfl day five touchdown passes thrown and mike at this point the defense just looks completely lost out there i mean they have no answers whatsoever giving up the fifth touchdown pass of this ball game Don't forget about the extra point here. This, an important one. The kick is good. So an ideal start to this overtime. And now it's up to the defense to preserve a seven-point lead. So, thanks to that recent rule change, still the chance to extend this game and match that opening overtime score as they receive the kickoff here. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The home team's offense make their way out to take over once more. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Now a first throw here in overtime. That one is caught by Mooney. That's a gain of 19 and a very quick first down. This is just like recess, just playing one-on-one -on -one football and saying, all right, I'm throwing you the ball. You got to go get open. This is a great job by the receiver selling it at the top of his route. The defender thought he was defending a deep ball. He sticks his foot in the ground and comes back. 
Well-timed, well-executed, and a nice pickup. He's going to take a shot here for Mooney. That one broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down, couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. I could sit up here all day, Mike, and we could talk about the missed throw, but I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. Cousins now on second down. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time. Play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball. Keep that to a short game. Cousins out of the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Cousins throwing on fourth down. He fires downfield for Pitts. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. And it's the arm talent, Mike. It's on full display. His ability to step up in the pocket, get everything behind that ball, and throw a laser on a line accurately downfield. That's not a throw that all quarterbacks in the NFL are capable of making. And I think it was pretty good defense. Just turned out to be a better throw. Ball sitting at the seven. First and goal. They go play action with Cousins. Spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. They could have tried for the win. Instead, they'll go for one to extend the game. And an exhale there. Extra point is good. Now, next score wins as we play on here in overtime. back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff Hardman now to return it and he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line the visitors offense ready to take over once again will try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. I like the call. Using the screen as a drive starter to pick up a chunk play and get this offense into some rhythm. It's clear this offensive play caller anticipated the rush of the defense and he was able to use it against them. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Motion man is Rice. On first and ten, it's Mahomes. This one intercepted. And he's going to score. It's a shocking finish here in overtime. This game is over. The pick six for the score. Greg, that is the one thing this offense did not want to see. 
and it really is demoralizing to see that happen in that spot. Absolutely, Mike, and that's one of those cases where you just would like to see the quarterback say, all right, I'm going to live to play another day. Don't force that throw. Don't try to make a play that's not there, because not only do you turn the ball over, you give them an easy six. And on the other side, the defense, what a moment. Uplifting for them. Big momentum building. Yeah, and that's the way games are shaped in this league, Mike. I mean, you find yourself able to capitalize on a mistake by an offense. You get yourself an easy touchdown. All of a sudden, your sideline finds themselves completely rejuvenated. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Falcons are winners as we say so long from Atlanta.